I grew up um, kind of with the story of the Little Rock Nine and the incredible courage of the nine students who integrated Little Rock Central High School in 1957. A quiet force behind the Little Rock Nine, and when necessary, not so quiet, was Daisy Bates. I'm very happy about it, and the children will return to school at the earliest practical date. In April of 2019, it finally, Arkansas replaced the two statues in kind of the Statuary Hall in the U.S. Capitol that represent the state of Arkansas um, that have historically been kind of white supremacists, one governor and one kind of major supporter of the Confederacy uh, with Johnny Cash, uh, but also Daisy Bates. <laughs> that, we were thrilled by that because that happened while we were writing about Daisy Bates, someone that I knew personally and admired so much. Her uh, mother had been murdered shortly after she was born and she was consumed with hatred hatred for the white men who had raped and murdered uh, her mother. And the couple that raised her, who her father had entrusted his daughter with to be raised, uh, the father figure basically told her, you cannot be consumed by hate. You can hate what people do. You can hate the injustice or the evil acts, but you cannot just hate. You have to be motivated to act. I think that message, which she took to heart, which literally changed how she saw her place in the world and what led her to be a, an advocate for nonviolent uh, demonstrations and protest um, is, again, another lesson that we never should forget, that we have to keep learning and, and keep trying to take to heart.